most advanced technology in the world, and we still can't find anything on the whereabouts of the executive. Affirmative, his ability to avoid our detection is impressive, and troubling at the same time. I've been meaning to ask something. What is that, Chief Anderson? Exactly how does the ship of understanding answer any question, but, cannot answer this, one question? The ship of understanding is not all-knowing. If there is a question for which it has no answer it knows how to search for one in the vast collective knowledge of the internet. How does it know which answer on the internet is the right one? The right answer will be corroborated by multiple sources, and it knows to filter out sources known to be unreliable. From this it calculates which is the more accurate answer. But, how does it know to do that? What you're describing would require advanced artificial intelligence, one capable of the kind of discernment that humans have. The AI of the ship of understanding is based on the professor's own brain. Such a feat would be impossible in a standard computer capable of only pure logic. The secret behind how it all works is quantum computing. Quantum computers? But, I thought that technology was still years, even decades away. No, quantum computing exists today. The Defense Department, various universities, IBM, and Google, all have quantum computers they are experimenting with. But, that is what I mean, they're all experimental. This is true, but recent breakthroughs will change all of that. Besides science research and cryptology what uses could ordinary people get from quantum computing? Exactly how does a quantum computer work? Very good question. From the earliest computational machines made by Charles Babbage to the most advanced gaming PC, all computers work using binary code. This is often represented as ones and zeros. A single digit, represented by a 1 and 0 is called a bit. The 1s and zeros represent an on state and an off state. 1 is on, and 0 is off. This means that anything using binary code, from the Apollo 11 lander, to the PlayStation 4 is only capable of performing logical computations in a specific order, and only one at a time. A great deal is accomplished with this, but there are inherent limitations to conventional computers. What sort of limitations? They are dependent upon transistors, which can only exist in one state at a time, either on or off. And, current conventional technology is reaching the limits of how small a transistor can get. Currently, the smallest manufacturing process is 10 nanometers. To put that into perspective, the HIV virus is 120 nanometers in size. The smallest bacteria, Mycoplasma bacterium, is 200 nanometers and, near ultraviolet light has a wavelength of 300 to 400 nanometers. IBM and Samsung, will start using 10 nanometer manufacturing processes, and are expected to have 5 nanometer processes by 2020. Transistors will likely not get any smaller than that any smaller, and you begin to enter the realm of quantum physics. Quantum physics is very strange. The common laws of physics do not apply, at all, period. Then, how is it a quantum computer even works at all? Remember I said a conventional computer works using ones and zeros in binary code? Yes. A quantum computer does the same thing, but with a significant difference, where a bit can either be on or off. A quantum computer uses what is called a qubit. Bits in a conventional computer are abstract constructs. They do not exist physically, but simply represented, on state or in off state. A qubit is an actual physical particle, either an atom or an electron. Unlike a bit, a qubit can represent either a 1 or a 0, or both at the same time. They can also represent whole words of bits in virtually any size. Qubit can also be quantum entangled. I've heard of that. What is quantum entanglement? That has a complicated answer, so I will try to explain it in layman's terms. Quantum entanglement is basically a state where two or more particles act as if they are one particle regardless of distance. Basically, if you entangle two particles, and take one out to the orbit of Pluto, and you change the state of the one on Earth, the other would instantly change state at the same time. If you use those entangled particles as qubits and you store information in the one on Earth, that same information will be in the qubit near Pluto at the exact same time. Wait, you're describing instant communication that ignores the speed limit of light. Essentially, yes. 
At the moment attempts to use quantum entanglement for communications have been theoretical, but in time we will find a way to use it. There are also uses for quantum entanglement in quantum computing. This is also all overwhelming. This is why Albert Einstein called quantum entanglement, spooky action at a distance. It unnerved him. Quantum physics, by itself, disturbed him greatly. Regardless, quantum computers still work using binary code like conventional computers do. However, they do more work in the same amount of time, and are capable of performing certain types of math algorithms significantly faster than conventional computers. However, their power requirements are significantly smaller. The biggest problem with conventional computers is heat. This will not be an issue for quantum computers. Remember, this is true now for today's experimental quantum computers. Commercial versions are starting to appear and as the technology is further refined we will see more uses for it, and what it can do will likely surprise us all. I'm wondering then, how could quantum computing be used for gaming? That is a good question, one which will require a second episode. Oh, so this is going to be a two-parter then? Affirmative. Hi there. I would like to make a few comments about what we discussed today. Quantum computing and quantum physics are both extremely difficult concepts to understand let alone explain in a plain English. Most information we have is still very theoretical, but this is one of the most heavily researched fields of physics in the world. But, that is because it holds so much promise. A deep understanding of quantum physics would literally change the entire world. Consider this. Every square inch of the universe contains energy. If the energy of just one square inch of space could be released all at once it would be enough to boil away the Earth's oceans. Instantly. Or, if harnessed in a controlled manner, it could provide limitless clean energy that never runs out. Imagine, electric cars, cell phones, laptops, or portable game systems that never need to be recharged. Imagine never needing to plug a game console. TV, or radio into a wall socket for power ever again. This is what quantum physics can give us if scientists can figure out how to safely harness the limitless energy that exists in the universe itself. Skeptics would call this free energy, but that implies energy from nothing. This energy doesn't come from nothing. It exists all around us all the time in a state we currently cannot use. But given time we will learn how to change that state of that energy and use it to power our technology. Some would argue that we drain the universe of power. However, we could run everything using this energy, and the amount of power we use is minuscule. Our sun would reach the end of its 5 billion year lifespan, and we'd still not use even a fraction of 1% of the power contained in the space around us. Quantum computing might not be quite as transformative but it would still have a massive impact on our world. Few understand this, but our brains are quantum computers. You might not know this, but some experimental quantum computers use biological material like brain neurons grown in a lab. One day, quantum computers will enable us to develop artificial intelligence that is self-aware. Some might be frightened by that idea because of movies and video games about machines rising up to destroy us. But if we are good custodians to these new beings and we treat them fairly, together we'll perform wonders. Next week, we'll discuss the possible uses of quantum computing in video games, how the technology could revolutionize game design, NPC artificial intelligence, and physics simulation. Until then we'll see you next time.